And we are learning more about the suspect accused of causing that crash that killed Trooper Zachary Fink. Investigative reporter Terry Parker continues our live team coverage tonight from Fort Pierce. Terry, what have you learned? Well, I do know that Michael Addison, age 30, from Lauderdale Lakes, is tonight here in the St. Lucie County Jail. He is charged with a long list of crimes, including two counts of vehicular homicide. And I've learned that he has a long list of crimes in other counties. And I've been told that during that intense manhunt for him, he actually talked his way into someone's house, and that person even gave him a change of clothing. This is Michael Addison being arrested after an intense manhunt Friday morning in the Castle Pines neighborhood in Port St. Lucie. Addison's accused of causing the death of a semi truck driver and FHP trooper Zachary Fink, who both died in a crash while Fink was pursuing Addison on I-95. I can speak with my family to obtain my lawyer. According to the arrest report at 2.40 a.m. Friday, Addison was clocked by St. Lucie County deputy going 60 miles per hour in a 30 mile zone on Midway Road. She pulled him over, but he took off while she was walking up to his Kia. During a chase, he got up to speeds of 90 miles per hour before getting on I-95 where deputies abandoned the chase. But they picked it up again when they learned FHP was now in pursuit. Trooper Fink chasing Addison south when Addison made a sudden U-turn, now heading north in the southbound lanes. The deputy seeing the oncoming headlights writing, the vehicle made no attempt to avoid collisions with my vehicle. This action causing me to take evasive action to avoid a collision. However, Trooper Fink, who also made a U-turn, was not able to avoid being hit by an oncoming semi-trailer, killing both him and the driver. And just as he came in the door, he says, who was that? And somebody ran really fast, he said, past our back window. A law enforcement source tells me Addison actually made his way inside one person's mud room where the homeowner gave him clothes to change into. But minutes later, police tracked him down and took him into custody. And what we don't know is what was the motive for driving so recklessly, allegedly, and causing this chase. We do know, however, that he was charged with driving without a license, and there was an active warrant for his arrest down in Broward County. Live in Fort Pierce, Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.